Alright, the red skies of Dover. Top secret radar has detected a large formation of enemy aircraft. Thank God, no more ships to blow up. Approaching the cliffs of Dover at high speed. Well, what speed would you expect? They're attacking us. The 41st and 64th squadrons have been scrambled to intercept. Yeah, two additional attempts sounds good. The only difficulty level I have is arcades. So I don't know why they put an option there, but okay. Maybe I have to beat the game to unlock other difficulties. Yeah, I think two is good. Alright. Let's go. So this mission at least sounds like it's going to be a lot of air combat. Which is, after all, why you would buy a flying game. So let's see what type of aircraft I'm in now. You know, the plot in this game, even already... Every mission, it seems like you're somebody different, or almost every mission. So it takes a lot less meaning when they say stuff like the 64th Squadron has been sent to shoot down the enemy as if they approach the cliffs of Dover. Well, that's great, but who the hell is the 64th Squadron? I don't know them. I mean, I guess I'm in the 64th, or the 40, uh, 41st. There. Yeah, I can read, thanks. Okay, this is obviously a trap. I mean, come on. They send eight bombers? Uh, really? To level all of England, you send eight people? Okay, eight bombers, but still. Oh, look at that, it was a trap. No shit all squadrons scramble to intercept. Look at this shit. Oh shit, they have rear gunners, don't they? Ooh, that's a nice little twist. Put a hole in my wing, will you? Ah, shit. This actually is beginning to look a lot like the actual air combat clips I've seen from World War II. Kind of fighters zooming in and out of bombers, getting shot at a little bit. Doing crazy ass maneuvers around the bombers. You have to get a little fancy, actually, which I like. Doesn't feel so lazy as the rest of the game. Or at least the plot. I shouldn't say the game's lazy, because, I mean, they get a lot of details right. Like, I mean, if you look at the... I can't really look at it right now, because I'm in the driver's seat, as it were. But if you look at all the scenery... I mean, it's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, something about the scenery while shooting thousands of rounds in enemy planes and being shot at from all directions. Yeah, I'm kind of weird. Ah. Crap. Alright, let's go back and target our objective first, because for some reason these bombers are really important. Look at all the parachutes. Damn, I just owned their entire air force. Don't push the nose down, just turn on the propeller a little bit faster. <laughs> I feel like I need R2-D2 to make that a uh, little, uh, wow sound whenever I go right past an enemy. Oh, shit. Nah, that was a fail. I do appreciate the that this game doesn't really have missiles in it. I mean, it does, but because they don't lock on, you never use them. In a lot of ways, it makes the combat much more up close and personal, much more intense. Ah, crap. I knew that was going to hit me. Alright. Well, I bailed out. It's all good. That would suck if you didn't bail out, you know? The last minutes of... I mean, hopefully you would just get knocked out or whatever. From all the Gs, but... Dang, that would suck if you were awake for it. Because, I mean, you just know you're screwed. But you're going down and getting sick and stuff. Alright, well, let's go. Let's go get them.
Ooh, that's a nice contrail. Nope, turn up the propeller a little bit. Yeah, I took you out upside down. My oh, god, ships, really? Now, what am I supposed to do? Take out some stupid... Stukas? Now, I love history, but... Stukas is something I've never heard of. I don't know, maybe I should've. Oh my god, more Jews. Ah. Thought I was going the other way. Alright. Wait, are these JU fighters or are they Stuka? Shouldn't Stuka be abbreviated with like an S or something? Man, these things take a lot of punishment. God! There you go! I flipped the wing, finally. There's oil all over my cockpit here. Oh, there's another. God, look at all this shit all over my screen. You know, couldn't somebody else help me out here? I mean, I'm taking a four on one. Oh hey, they can! I finally have an attack option in the, uh, squadron command section. Cut the engines... Whoa! Shit, that was close. These things are going like the most annoying speed possible. Uh, dude, get out of the way! Yeah, now I know how Spoonie felt. And SWAT 4 with all of those people in the way. Stand in my spot, sir. Ah, let's continue. Let's shoot them all down. I said yes. No, gear up. Oh, it's another just land. Ah, come on. I want to have some fun. Let's go take on the fighter. No oh, good. They actually shot someone down. Wow, the friendly AI is maybe not quite as bad as I thought. Let's shoot down as many of these bombers as we can before they get outside the map. They're fun. <coughs> Sorry about any coughing, I'm getting over a sickness right now. Well, I screwed them up. It's always cool when you get both of their engines to burst into flame. I think that was only one engine that burst into flame on that one. You have to chase them down to... Like, see, that's a really boring takedown. Like, you know, it just kind of sits there. Wait a minute, it's going up? Hey, that's not shot down. You can't fool me, game. There, that's shot down. You have to chase them down like this to get both engines to go. Even then, they normally don't. I'm gonna have my boys take out this one. What the hell? Wow, oh, friendly fire, watch it! Again, I know how Spoonie felt. It's like being flashbanged in the face. By the way, if you want to see a really good Let's Play, Check out Spoonie's Let's Plays of, uh, SWAT 4. Some of the funniest things I've ever watched. And I'm beginning to feel what he must have felt. 
Did I just go through the enemy? Well, I wish that would happen more often. Anyway, that looks like radar is clear. Let's head on home and land. Alright, by the way, you know, I know a lot of people have trouble landing in this game. I kind of make fun of, um... I'm just going to ignore the other enemies. I kind of make fun of Nerd Cubed for crashing all the time. But in all honesty, landing in this game took me forever to get. So I'm going to try to walk through all the landings we do. So that, um... You can at least kind of get the idea of how I do it. Because I do it pretty consistently. Now that I've said that I'm going to crash. But, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at landing in this game. So I'll walk you through how I do it, and hopefully that'll help you. Now, fortunately, they make it a secondary objective all the time in this game. It seems to also generally be that way in Ace Combat. Oh shit, we're getting close. Alright, so you cut the engine for a while until, and put the gear down until you get down to kind of a low speed. You look at where exactly the airport is, and you find the longest way to approach it. Uh, when you get down to like the 300s, I only put the engine back on to like 33%. 25 is kind of close, you know, but you could probably get away with it. Somewhere in that range. So then you're, you're going to want to approach the airport from the longest possible side, because, you know, a lot of times people crash, they even get on the ground, but they will overshoot the runway. So then you find the pseudo runway cut the engine, or cut it down to like 6%, 10%, I'm gonna go with 10. Uh, make sure you're pushing up on the left analog stick, or whatever button on your computer is the ascend button. Cut the engine at this point, keep pressing up, keep pressing up, keep pressing back on what, or uh, decelerate, and you should be alright. And that's how you do it. Owen Wright's diary, August the 8th. No one cares but Owen Wright's diary, so we're pretty much good. And that is all I have for this clip. See you in the next one. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for Let's Plays you'd like to see, or if you have any suggestions to make my Let's Plays better, by all means, I'm open to recommendations. I'm open to criticism. Um, like I've said before, I'm new at the Let's Play thing, so probably not the most amazing Let's Plays in the world, but I'm pretty happy with this one. So, uh, see you all in the next one.